Hi guys, um, back to my track here again. Uh, as you can see, there's some changes. The last time you saw it, it had copper tape on there. I put braid in, yeah, just because I wanted to try doing braid. But um, that's really not why I'm making this video. Marty over on um, Slot Car International Forum is showing us how to make brass chassis in 143rd scale and uh, you can go there and look and see how he's how he's shown how to make it um, I happen to make one here as you can see it's uh, just finished it off yesterday uh, thought I'd show you guys how it runs um, most of the time you put rubber tires on the back or urethanes or silicones or something like that I type some of these um, wheels they're foam wheels they actually run for like 124 and 132 scale tracks and and it's kind of the thing that they use for brass chassis um, I didn't have any front wheels so I just turned some discs on my on my lathe and drilled a hole through there and put it on there and you don't really need front wheels on a slot car but they kind of like act like um, outriggers on a canoe and, and stabilize the car a little bit in the corners uh, I'm running here on a, I got a, a Parma controller, $25 Parma controller, it's a 65 ohm um, controller, uh, the reason I got it is, is so many ohms because then the trigger is back in here and I find that more comfortable than having the trigger out here to control the car. I'm running this on 10 volts, which isn't very much. Uh, for these cars these motors are I got this motor from Kim over at um, um, Slot Car Express uh, it's a eight or nine dollar motor uh, 23,000 rpm and I type the gears from a Carrera car so whatever the gear ratio is there um, the the guide here is a uh, is a guide slide and um, I had to modify it somewhat because the brushes usually the wire just runs through and it becomes a brush after you strip the insulation off but it wouldn't make contact very well with the braid so I I sliced open the, the little holes that are there and I put some uh, braid in there and I just soldered it together so it seems to work pretty good um, couple of spacers in there to keep it off the track so I'm just going to show you how it runs around as you can see it's uh or here it's it's really really quiet it runs really really smooth um, took me about a week to build this it's my very first one So um, as you can see, it's it runs pretty good. I uh, wish the track was a little bit bigger. I can wind her up to about 18 volts. It should go pretty quick then. I can't get full throttle on this little track here. Um, uh, the 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 build itself was uh, pretty darn easy. It took me a lot of time because I had to figure things out. Um, uh, pretty well anybody can do this. They just have to learn how to solder and uh, you can build your own chassis that fit under any any body at all that you want and that was my problem is, is I make bodies and uh, I didn't have chassis that would fit underneath them and rather than cut up plastic chassis or buy art in cars or or you know chop up Carreras or SCXs or whatever um, I, I, I thought this was a pretty good solution to 
uh, finely chassis that will fit under the here and uh, obviously I've got to make a body for this one here um, but we'll do that another time and I'll show you guys later when that kind of happens thanks for watching